Hey everyone, it's Logan. I want to talk to you about a program I just made. I'm selling it on my website here, bitworks3000.com or logan 6 sellscom And excuse some of the construction here, but the program does work. I want to tell you what it's about here. If you work with CNC, you've maybe had something like this happen to you. Either your hard drive or flash drive gets corrupted and you lose your original drawing file, or maybe you accidentally saved over that original drawing file. What this does is it takes your G-code and it converts it back to a DXF that you can then modify. I've seen this happen to a lot of customers. And let me give you an example here. So here I've just made a simple sign. I'm using VCARV, but this will work with just about any CAM program, as long as it can accept a DXF file. And here you see I put some tool paths on it, and this is the sign I want to cut. So I go ahead and I save this, and I save it as logansign.tap. And this, but it will work with a lot of other formats, and I'll get to that here in just a minute. And now I want to actually save my drawing file itself. Okay, Logan signed up, in this case, CRV. Great, now I go out and cut it. I realize I have to make a change. I come back in here and I click save, and I start typing it out again. And for some reason, I get click happy. I wasn't paying attention, whatever. I click on the CRV. Okay, uh oh, now I've actually lost my original file. If I go here, try and open this up. Oh boy, it's not going to open up. So what do I have? Well, I still have my original cut file, my TAP file that I made right here. And if you actually were to open it up, you're going to see it, it's, it's a bunch of G code, right? Now try and take that mentally and bring it back into the program. It's, it's going to be pretty tough. Now, of course, that was a pretty simple example. I could remake that in a few minutes. But if you have a more complex program, you may not be able to. You don't want to go through and redraw it all. Or maybe it's something where you lost the original file and you want it back. That's what this is designed to solve. I've created, get out of here, I've created a G code backplotter. And what it's going to do is it's going to take your tap file. You're going to tell it, I want to save it as a DXF. And I click convert. That's all it is to it. One, two, three. So when I click convert, it's going through and looking at all the G code. Back plot, plot complete, so that functioned correctly. Now I can come back in here, create a new file. I'm going to go up to File, Import, Vectors. And I'm just going to bring in my DXF. And if all works properly, this should look like my original sign with a couple of small changes. And there we go. I have my sign back. Now, of course, I don't have toolpath information that that itself is specific to the CAM program, but I have all the original lines. I don't have to go through and remake this file anymore. Now, you can see there's a couple things that are different here. One, these lines are overlapping. The reason is that I've not yet implemented tool compensation. It will be coming, but as of right now, if I wanted to cut this again, instead of offsetting the lines, I could simply put it on, on the line itself, because this line now, remember, it comes from the toolpath. It's the center of the bit. So I could simply put the bit on the center of these lines and it would offset uh, correctly. So it would actually end up cutting right along here, exactly where it's supposed to. And I wouldn't have to do anything else. Now, if I really wanted to, I could go through and I could, let's see, let's make join all these back together. And I could take these if I wanted the original drawing exactly as it was, and I could do an offset inward by, again, the radius of the bit. And now I'd have my original line back and I could go through and do that for all these lines as well. But this is all you really need right here to be able to recreate your drawing file. This program uh, that I've made here will work for upwards of 50 different file types and a ton of different machines. It actually works for a lot more that's, than are in this list. Uh, the ones that aren't in this list typically uh, are very generic. And the reason I have all this is that if you would like to speed up the program, if you know specifically that I'm working with, like I did here, generic WinCNC, and it was a very large file, I could turn off all these and save a whole bunch of time and it would work just generically. All of these ones have very specific G code that they need to look out for. And checking for all those things takes extra time. Uh, but as you can see, it was actually pretty fast, and uh, this is not having any arcs, but if these uh, were actually true arc segments, they would go even faster. So you can buy it here, 
at bitworks3000.com. Now again, excuse the mess here, I'm still building the site. Uh, but down here, click here, right now I'm selling for $49.99. This is probably going to stay in the price, although it may increase later as I add more features. Uh, I do actually have quite a few more features, including tool compensation, multiple pass removal, and potentially in the future, uh, turning 3D cut files into uh, something like an STL file uh, so that you could turn it back into a 3D drawing. It's not implemented yet. Anyone who buys this will get free updates for life. So even if the price goes up or add more features, you're never going to have to buy it again. There's no annoying monthly fees or yearly maintenance fees or anything like that. Uh, you purchase this, it's going to work forever. And uh, if you are just wondering if it's going to work, you could send a, a test file over. I'll be happy to convert it for you or see if it does convert. And if it does, I'll be happy to let you know that and you can go ahead and purchase it. If you run into a file that it won't convert properly, and there are a couple of them, uh, then you can send them to me and I will work as hard as I can to get it to actually convert that. A couple of uh, exceptions here are PLT files. There's about uh, half a dozen different post-processor PLT files that will work and several more that won't. Uh, there's a huge variation in formats of G-code. It is not standard the way a DXF file is standard. Uh, it's extremely difficult to do, but you can see here, got some examples that have worked for me in the past. So if you'd like to purchase, feel free to go over there. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching and I really hope you enjoyed.